I love Yan's films. I know, they work for me. They're full of sciencey goodness. <laughs> uh, speaking of sciencey goodness, keep your questions coming in to Dr. Yan. Thomas from Bristol's got a really good one. Mm -hmm. Why do we dream? I had a weird dream last night. I so don't want to know about that I'll one. I'll tell you later. It now I'm scared. Odd. If you want to know the answers to that question and all the other questions we are posing our resident brain box, of course, do check out our website, which is, of course, slash bang. Yeah, and, of course, you can take the Bang Interactive Science Challenge. Just uh, follow the links to the Open University. Jan used a coil of wire to make an electromagnet strong enough to hold his own weight. Electric motors use this same magnetic effect to produce their turning force. And because it all happens literally at the flick of a switch, you get full force straight away. And I'm going to demonstrate that using a winch, a 4x4, and my mate Andy here. Take it away, Andy. <laughs> And Liz has bravely volunteered to demonstrate all of this. It's the electric current flowing through the coils of wire in those motors that's providing the magnetic field whose invisible push and pull creates all the force necessary to lift the whole thing skyward. Yeah, now those motors are a part of that winch and that winch is attached to our crane and gantry up there and it's almost over the top now. I'm basically entrusting my entire life on that fantastic little bit of science. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have done that. <laughs> OK, now that we've proven this point, time for me to do some little experiments on our sense of smell.